What does your lunch break look like? nicer and more practical and uh, cheaper if the whole family eats together. So my mom is the cook, the designated cook, and every day we have a family lunch. Three small households and four generations. And it's nice. It's the best time of day. As my Instagram shows, um, I prefer simple meals for lunch, meaning um, fish, and vegetables or chicken and vegetables and lately um, I've discovered some very nice vegetarian burgers Usually my favorite dish is um, I love chicken and uh, if I don't have chicken then I will do fish I try not to eat uh, red meat a lot so that's my favorite really and sometimes I'll do that with chips or just a piece of chicken I love Mondays when I usually have leftover food from Sunday. I keep saying that I would try anything once, so I really enjoy uh, other cuisines, I enjoy trying other food, but I have a special fondness for those dishes that my grandmothers used to make. I actually have no idea if there are any names in English to explain what kind of dishes those are, but you know, they just bring up really really nice memory from my childhood. I cook every day at least one course. A weekday lunch, steak, pasta, cream soup, risotto, meatballs, fish, schnitzels. And I usually get that from um, some online vendors. We have many in this country, so I just click on the uh, button, order online, and uh, the lunch will be dropped in my office. I always cook. The last time I ordered food was last summer when I had some renovation works done in my flat. Oh, I always cook. Um, I don't. I can't even remember the last time I ordered something in the last few years, probably. What's your comfort food? Ice cream. Ice cream is the food of God. Ice cream is a medicine. Ice cream is good. Anytime, winter, summer, day or night. Give me ice cream and I'll um, I made my own ice cream, which is rather frozen yogurt, not proper ice cream. Um, I mix yogurt with protein powder and sweetener, and then I add some frozen fruit. My favorite being cherries. Pizza or cream soup with croutons. The cream soup can be tomato, broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms. These are my favorite cream soups. What do you do to wind down during your break? I love playing guitar. So when I have a local lunch break, this is what I will do. Just, uh, you know, music is therapeutic as well, so it tends to refresh me and keep me going. Um, I find cooking relaxing, so that's definitely, that definitely helps me wind down. Um, also, after lunch, I usually have a cup of coffee and maybe some dessert. During a break, I either play some silly no-brainer game or read silly no-brainer novel or both at the same time as long as I only need to use half of, my, of eight brain cells uh, my eyes are not happy about it but, but my brain is quite pain. When the break includes cooking, I speak on the phone my friends are aware of my busy schedule and that I usually call them when I cook and I want to make the most out of my time they must be good friends if they answer my calls whenever I have the time to speak. 
maybe catch up with social media and post pictures of, of my lunch on Instagram. While I eat, either I forget about everything and float with my thoughts, or jump in the middle of everything on social media. Most of the times, winding down includes answering emails, as my clients seem to find out when I leave my desk and go to the kitchen. What is your translator superpower? My translator superpower is to keep my clients happy while maintaining the balance between my work and personal life, somehow. Well, to put it in the words of a former line manager of mine, um, I'm scarily organized. And I also have a very good eye for detail, which is definitely um, a good thing to have in our profession. You know, when you're working uh, with subtitles, uh, with limited space and limited time, and you're translating some non-scripted show, you really need to just plow through all the crap and really, really um, cut it down to the, you know, what the author or poet wanted to say. And I'm, I've gotten pretty really good at it. My superpower. I'm a very experienced translator with over 20 years experience and my quality is very good. I think that's what keeps clients coming to me. Any funny stories about recent projects? Uh, I think one of the funniest projects I've ever worked on was, was um, the translation of a letter for the client to send to his neighbours asking them to be a bit more discreet when having sex. One day, one day, I, I, I was doing uh, someone, I have an assistant who keeps the office phone and a client called him and then um, uh, after a while called me and then as we talked in, on the phone, um, we didn't agree much and then the guy said, I, I need to talk to your boss, I need to talk to your boss. So he called my assistant again thinking that he was the boss. And he was told, oh, no, 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 actually Alfred is the boss. Mm. And, and, and he, he, you know, he just sh uh, shrunk and became polite again. Also, it was funny to find out that all my projects in an online system were checked as delivered when I had only downloaded them, but the system considered it should help me enjoy some time off. I had to disagree. Not funny, but heartwarming is to be targeted by the ads I translated or to see my translations elsewhere offline. Um, and a more recent one was when I had to inform the client that uh, their newly designed logo looked like a penis. I mean, it literally did. Um, and they took my advice and changed it. What's your next travel destination? Travel? What's that? Um, but seriously speaking, um, I recently moved to Scotland and because of the lockdown, I haven't had any chance to actually explore it. So when, when restrictions are, are lifted, exploring Scotland is um, my goal. I think I would want to go to the US for the ATA conference in October. Or um, if um, or, or any other one, there was supposed to be one in Romania, the Apti conference, but uh, that has been cancelled. Um, so that will take place in the near future. So uh, my only travel might be to the US. Yeah. I mean, I love my family and her really pretty ones. Just want to go somewhere where I don't see them for a week or two, where there are people I haven't talked to in a year. Just take me somewhere, please. I want to visit the world. The Greek beaches, the Italian archaeological sites, museums, concerts, in-person conferences. I would have been in Rwanda right now, in normal times. See you around somewhere, someday, and hopefully soon. We are on Patreon. Community has always been the driving force behind Translate Cluj. 
If you want to be part of a vibrant, fun-loving and creative community of language enthusiasts and enjoy exclusive content and benefits, subscribe to one of our three tiers. You would be supporting a good cause. You can find the link in the description.